Hi, we're Gaz and Bex, the Meandering Manships. Welcome to our channel and thank you for joining us on this adventure. In early 2023, we traded decades of 12-hour day working and passing one another in the driveway for van life, hiking books and backpacks as we embarked on a journey of a lifetime in our motorhome, blending our passion for travel with helping other people realise their own van life dreams. On this channel, we share the highs and lows of life on the road together, giving our honest reviews and sharing experiences and recommendations from scenic campsites to hidden gems to the great wildcard finds. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Meandering Manship family. Let's embark on this adventure together. In the last episode, we shared our time experiencing Carnival at Arajal in the Seville area of Spain. What a fantastic weekend we had! In this episode, we had 180 kilometres east along the A92 and the A339 to the ancient town of Alcala Le Real, where we see snow-topped mountains for the first time on this trip. Hike to the top of the Moorish fortress called Teleza de la Mota, which is so prominent on the skyline even today. And we scratched beneath the surface of this historically significant town. After a night there, we move on again, heading 100 and 10 kilometres southeast along the NA432 and the A346 into the Sierra Nevada, a small air on the outskirts of Orkley or Eden, just 10 kilometres southeast of the famous mountain top tourist resort of Mangerong. Alcala La Real sits on the slopes of La Mota, 60 kilometres northwest of the city of Granada, in the southwestern corner of the province of Jean, with a population of approximately 22,500 people. The city's principal economy lies in the production of olives and olive oil, as well as the production of cherries and some craftsmanship, including metalwork. Sadly, the economy is not flourishing in line with other neighbouring towns and cities and as a result it appears that many younger residents are leaving to find employment in Granada and further afield. So here's a bit of history for you. Archaeological finds in the area indicate the presence of human life as far back as the Paleolithic period and it's proposed that this could be one of the last places on earth inhabited by Neanderthal man. There is evidence of Iberian presence dating to the late Bronze Age and there remains today first traces of urban structures from Roman presence. Significant local finds include a statue of Hercules discovered in the Roman religious site of Domus Herculana, which can now be seen at the National Archaeological Museum of Spain in Madrid. In 1713 AD, Following the Muslim conquest, the town was named Qal'at, Arabic for fortified city, and a series of 15 watchtowers were constructed to help defend the city and its occupants from the Viking and Norman invasions. 12 of the 15 can still be seen today. The principal watchtower was sited on top of La Motta. In around 1000 AD, this was further developed to become a true fortress in its own right and became a stronghold of Muslim defences against the invasions of the Christian conquest. This city has so much history, it's just fascinating. For more information, why not pop over to the Museo Municipal de Alcala La Real website, or visit in person if you're passing through. We'll put the address and contact details on at the end of the video. So what's available to do in Alcala? There are many things to see and do in the town. It may just take a little research in advance to ensure you get to experience the things that you are interested in. Cafes and bars. There are many bars and restaurants in the central area of Alcala with less upon the steep streets leading towards the fortress. These include takeaways, tapas bars, street cafes and a few nice restaurants as well. The warden at Camping Alcala can provide you with a map and recommendations free of charge. The warden can also help with opening times as they vary throughout the week and indeed across the seasons. 
There's a large street market open every Tuesday and it's held on the car parks adjacent to the campsite. The market opens at around 7.30am and is bustling with activity. Then of course there's Fortaleza de la Mota. Whether you climb the steep hill and enjoy the moment or go inside and meander this ancient hilltop fortress, it's supremely impressive. Entrance costs 7 euros and this includes an audio tour that's highly recommended by other visitors who've gone before you. If you crave a little more adrenaline on your trips, then La Ferrata Castillo de Locubin may be just the tonic. And prices start from just 25 euros. Here's a link to their website. We spent so much time exploring this incredible town that we didn't get much chance to actually record the site itself. But here's a few images and some of the key information that you need. Sierra Nevada, which means snow-covered mountain range, or Sulea, Mountain of the Sun as it was called by the Arab Moors, rises up between the two provinces of Granada and Almeria, with 15 peaks reaching over 3,000 metres above sea level, including Mulhacen, 
which stands at a massive 3,482 metres, which is the highest point across the whole of the Iberian Peninsula. The whole area is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, home to over 2,100 plant life species and 2,000 species of anthropod, 300 of which are entirely unique to this massif. The 15 mountain peaks have snow almost all year round, which melts in the late springtime, flooding into many of the famous baths and spas of the region, including Le Geron and the historic irrigation routes of the Alpajura Valley. The hiking and cycling app known as All Trails identifies around 275 trails within the locality, making it an outdoor person's dream location. If you're looking for mountain top views, clean air, fresh delicious food and new experiences, we really recommend this area to you. It's absolutely breathtaking and there's just so much to do. Here's just one of the trails that we found on all trails. Absolutely fantastic circular route. We hope it's of use to you. If you want more specific details, please comment below and we'll get in touch with you. Good afternoon and welcome to Orgiva, which is south of Granada. And we left Alcala Le Real at about 9.30 this morning. The journey was due to take about 60 minutes. But today, many of the farmers in Spain have been protesting in the same way that farmers across most of the EU are. So it took us six hours. But we're here. We've had some strange detours, a few multi point turns up on mountain roads and small villages. Absolutely worth, absolutely worth the views that we've arrived to. So the air that we are at is called Air de Auto Caravanas Entre Sierra y Mar. Here are the contact details but I will put them on at the end of this video as well. So it's a small air, just down the hill, about a mile or so from Orgiva itself. It has electric hookup, Wi-Fi, um, hot showers, toilets, wash basins, laundry, a couple of vending machines, and motel service points as well. Also, if you're passing and you just want to offload and fill up again, you can do that. The service point is literally just down that ramp there and it's on the right hand side. The building with the red roof is reception. And this is the Sierra Nevada. So I'll go and give us a short sight tour. Either. 
about a mile that way, up the hill. And here's the site. Here is your motorhome service point. So you can dump your grey waste, use the Elson point for you know what, and then there's a separate tap for filling up the fresh water. Site is well signposted. The reception is just there. Go there in a minute so I don't walk back on myself. So the first white door there is for anyone who needs a little bit more space. And then the gents is to the left, the ladies is to the right. Look. So, really nice layout. So, inside, new showers. Looks like the hooks come off this one, so you have to hand hold it. It's not a push button. And it has a shower curtain down the side just to stop the walls from getting damaged too much. Two of these, oh there's more hooks on there. There's two of these and it's seven one euro for seven minutes. And then that's page one here. So that's the shower number one, that's the shower number two, and another wash basin. And then the toilets, lovely and spacious, very clean. I think there's somebody in the gents, so I don't want to just give you a quick look through the gents, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Two showers, two toilets, I don't think I see it This is the site. As I said, it's small. We didn't have to book. Hit the phone ahead there if you can. Belgium, Spanish, German. And there's us. So it's 11 euros a night to stay here, 14 if you want electric hookup. And again, just attention to detail matters. It's even things like these tyres with plants in. Pitch is clearly signposted, everything's nice and clean. That's our view. And when we were at Brook Lodge Farm in Somerset last year, they had removable posts. 
just like they've got here so really really good you can get in and out of your pitches really really easily and then just pop them back in again so i'm going to make guys a nice cup of tea now he must be exhausted and i'll start dinner dishwashing and bed prep sinks. Washers and the dryers. That's our reception. Sadly, due to the really long drive the previous day and a late arrival on this site, it meant we had absolutely no time at all to explore Orgiva and the surrounding areas. The upside is that means we've got to go back, doesn't it? Thanks so much for joining us as we travelled through Alcala La Real and then through the Sierra Nevada. Next time we'll be heading back towards the coast to Capo de Gato, Cartagena and then to the party town that is Benidorm. So if you've not done it already why not hit the subscribe button so you know as soon as the next episode comes out. We look forward to seeing you then. Just in case you missed the first time round, here are the contact details for the two sites in tonight's episode.